Hi there everyone, it's Cameron here, also known as Just a Lone Gamer, here on behalf of CNSX Gamers, and I have an educational video here on how to play Alice Madness Returns. For more videos in this series, visit the playlist on our channel at www.youtube.com forward slash CNX Gamers then view our video playlist on the side. And don't forget to rate, comment and subscribe to this video. I've come to the assumption that if we're going to explore this vast territory of icy wasteland that we need to go buy a buy it in style. A romantic drift down memory lane here on our way to find some hidden teeth. Now thinking about it, I'm more than certain that we're in the northern hemisphere of Alice's Wonderland for the sheer fact that first off we haven't encountered penguins which ex which live in the southern pole because it's not as cold and or is it the other way around? Well we haven't seen any penguins so I'm going to assume we're in the north pole. Plus the aurora which is that green wavy thing in the sky is also known as the Northern Lights which suggests that again we are in the northern part of Alice's Wonderland now what I assume Alice is doing is we came down in the first part of Alice's Wonderland so we then headed across it into the rail yard area from there she woke up in the sea didn't she? Well, I think she did then she got knocked unconscious in a burning building to which that caused her to wake up in the opposite which is the coldest part of Alice's Wonderland maybe as a you know self defense thing it's healing her because she was in a hot place it sends her to somewhere cold and now we're heading towards um, we're going to be travelling over the northern hemisphere of Alice's Wonderland to what would have been the polar the um, polar opposite to our last location it's very confusing it just means we're going up and not down I suppose or across if, uh, if you think of it like a map she starts in the let's say the England part of um, Alice's Wonderland then in order to get to I think I Russia or something like that or Alaska she travel she's traveling over the northern bit so like Iceland or something and then when she reaches Iceland rather than going over the sheer cold she may choose to go underwater which is why I think there's that boat there because I I think going all the way back to my memory of the Alice movie, the really old one, 1980s or something, that submarine, that um, boat had the ability to be a submarine. You better come aboard, Alice. We do, of course. What? There's no hope for you. Oh, there's an infinite amount of hope. Of course. Now get up here. Confounded beasts. They want my ship. I think you're more to their taste. Never. We're almost relatives. You're related to Sue, Admiral. <gasps> I've an idea. We'll leave this mayhem and go to Carpenter's show. It's better than Gaff. Carpenter promises we don't take seriously can't harm us. Best dive now, Admiral, or the sharks will have us for lunch. I was just thinking about it. those sharks. Look like they're made of wood. You're not going to hear much narration from me now because this looks like it's going to be an intense water battle. I've only got ten lives. I can 
seeing them firing out the cannon. This thing has some deadly giant cannons. To take out these wooden sharks. I mean, the sharks are seemingly the size of the boat. They go and think bigger. Oh my lord, they have got something bigger. And it looks like it's one up from behind. There's not much protection from behind. I reckon more points if I can kill it. Yeah, yeah. See mine. Well, oh my. Let's see if I can hit this. Is that a crab? With a cannon. Oh. Man. What? How can the arm be still firing? I got rid of the actual crab. Ah, crab got rid of him for me. The loading screen is always good, it means we're alive. Station master of the Looking Glass Line. Mm. Sacked from the railroad without the option. Redundant, the nitwits said. Never a holiday. Loyal as a bulldog, going in a different direction, my Aunt Fanny, if I had one. Going off the rails more like bloody disaster. Now I'm shipless. The old railroad's dead. And this new thing's a monstrosity. It never runs on time. Engineers are asleep at the switch. What I don't know about it can't hurt me. Say no more. Nods as good as a wink. Change the subject. We avoid speaking about the thing whose name should not be spoken. Hearing something useful about this new train would make for a change. You don't respect the suffering of others. Go ask your questions and smart remarks to Caterpillar. I'm sorry, Admiral. Really. Please, tell me what you know about the train. I'll just say we've escaped a contaminating corruption. Count yourself lucky to be down here. But I don't want to escape. I want to stop it. I must stop it to save myself. And Wonderland too. Nonsense. Speak more nonsense. Diversions rule the day. The show must go on and so on. Speaking of shows... We weren't. Yeah, well, never mind. Here's a ticket for the show Carpenter's Mounting. Use it. Okay, so we got a lot of information there about what is going on. It seems that no one is... Still no one is certain who made this train but it was made with industrial ideas they got rid of the old workers the old guard railway workers um, just threw him out the job replaced him with scoundrels fitted with grotesque headgear if I have ever owned an accessory that unseemly I'd burn it destroy all evidence of it and deny its existence I value my reputation. 
Though they managed to replace the both the conductor and they just threw out the old train. As a result of industrialising it, I'm assuming that they had less people work on it, less people who cared about the train. And there was a determination to ruin the train tracks, but instead to use the train as an opportunity to spread the corrupting effects that were instilled in that thing. And Alice is getting the brunt of it, as her Wonderworld suffers, so does she. And the idea, it says, of diversion means that in this game it believes to get to the source of Alice's problems, do not pursue the sources, do not pursue your problem, but pursue everything else. Down there looks like some strange sort of Atlantis under the sea. Strange, I thought I heard the sound of a snorting pig. But I was probably mistaken. Otherwise... No, it, it was probably nothing. Or it'll be like one... Or it's not going to be a memory shard, it's just going to be treasure. Another weapon you're going to smash with the hammer. But anyway, so now we know that the rail, the train thing, was devised to be corrupting. That whoever's in charge doesn't want um, Alice's workers, because there's no good reason to fire that guy. If he, had, if he was a part of a working union, they would have said no. The guy, the man should have a raise, not be fired. 100% loyalty, not a day off work. There's no reason to fire him. I could go left. I can still hear that pig, but I, where is it? No, I probably won't find it. Let's see. I can go back if I want, I suppose. I wonder what's around this corner then. I'll check back behind us. Okay, managed to prove there is most certainly no going back. So let's go see what this little hidden thing is around the corner. the last one in the library the night of the fire the log I added to the grate was dead when I went upstairs to bed with Dinah if it wasn't I may be responsible for my family's deaths And so we found the second key to Alice's memory. Only, what, three, four more to go? And she'll be free.